Hey everyone, welcome to the Tech Channel. Today we have a tutorial on how to measure AC voltage up to 250 volt using this module, which is ZMPT101B. Actually, it's not its name. Then it's the name of the transformer around here. But in the internet or stores, you're gonna find it by this name or just simply AC voltage sensor. But the important is that we won't have any sketchy wiring, just this module and here the inputs on where we want to measure voltage and that's it. When also what is more important is that there is no rectification of the signal. We're gonna keep the same shape of the AC signal we have, a perfect sine wave and we're gonna process it with our Arduino board. And even non-linear uh, AC signals like if we have if we are using a light dimmer like I'm using here and you know these things use a triac and it actually changes the shape of the sine wave it's not a perfect sine wave it's a non-linear signal and as you know the triax or light dimmer based on a triax it doesn't uh, increase or decrease the amplitude of the sine wave signal but rather changing the time of the trigger but you know this thing you can check on the internet how the light dimmers works but uh, enough talking let's go work and don't forget to subscribe and to support the channel so before we start i want to ask you to please be careful when missing around with the network voltage i've already i've already got some few shocks and so for the first thing we want to do is to calibrate our module by this potentiometer over here it's this potentiometer you can change it I hope you can see it so that this potentiometer we're gonna change the shape of the signal output over here and this module has four pins but there are actually only three there is VCC for 5 volt and ground and there is a signal pin and they added around another ground I don't know why so what this module do is actually lower the high high voltage but it's just like a low voltage for the electrical engineers and for this it's just a network uh, voltage and here where i live it's uh, 220 230 volt uh, 50 hertz and so it it uh, brings back the signal to only uh, like from 0 to 2.5 volt as a peak and minus 2 5 volt then it has an offset of uh, 2 5 volt which means that the signal uh, going to the arduino is between 0 volt and 5 volt so the wiring is uh, pretty much simple here for the inputs it's already uh, wired with our where we want to measure so here i'm measuring like uh, between these uh, points that goes to a light bulb and it's of course in series with this uh, light dimmer because we want to measure the voltage around my light bulb and then here we have the just one output which is as uh, analog inputs for arduino so the first thing you want to do is to wire your module and as in the input i'm putting it in the right in the socket or here as i said i have a light dimmer so i'm i'm, the, I'm wiring it in the output of the light dimmer but i'm letting the light dimmer in the high and comparing it with our uh, multimeter and 220 or 230 volt but it's not important for the moment what is important is to calibrate our uh, uh, sensor and by using that uh, potentiometer over there turning it clockwise on or anti-clockwise it depends so here first is to upload this uh, simple code which is very simple we just read the output here and here as i said for the module it's very simple there is 5 volt and ground for the power and for the output one output goes to the analog uh, uh, input zero in the arduino i'm gonna load this code and see its shape not its uh, value but its shape in the serial plotter
me change the border rate. Okay, so now it's zero, there is no signal. As you can see, it's hovering around our offset signal. As I said, it's uh, around 512, but it's not very accurate. But now it's uh, like around 509 or uh, 508. I'm turning my uh, socket on. And here's our shape and I know I know I know that's not the shape of our real uh, IC voltage we're gonna see later we're gonna change something but was the important thing here is to see the full shape as you see here's the full shape we want to see it let me turn the module potentiometer and to see what we don't want to have As you can see, the amplitude is changing. So here, as you can see in the top, I lost my signal. And that's what we don't want, losing this signal like this. We want to keep the same shape as in the bottom over here. Otherwise, it's not reading correctly. So here you turn your knob you see no we lost it as, at all we don't see any like uh, sine wave things i know it's not the shape real shape but i'll show you later just don't start hating on the comment so now i'm turning in the other direction until i see like the correct shape like here, here. i'm seeing the whole shape which is nice and this is the calibration and you keep it like this because later we want to do other calibration but you want to keep this like that we're gonna see the other code so to see a nice shape of the signal all we have to do is to add a little delay here of 100 milliseconds it's gonna be nice and it will permit us to see like the uh, shape of the signal let's upload the code serial plotter and by adding that delay we can see our signal now my uh, dimmer is off i'm gonna turn it on and leave it at the maximum So here you see a nice uh, like sine wave signal but here as you can see those things it's because like a triggering uh, signal for the triac and that's because I'm taking the, the the voltage like after the light dimmer is not directly from the socket it, if I took it directly from the socket I would have like a nice sine wave shape I'm gonna change my light dimmer and you're gonna see the triggering time change too you see and it's thanks to this module you can see those uh, shapes you won't be able to see them if you use like the classic uh, rectifier things so calibration is done now we can try to measure our voltage and for this i'm measuring the voltage of my lamp i am using this old light bulb here and it's good to see the effect of the light dimmer i'm gonna start it it it's just a cheap light dimmer and i'm gonna place my light bulb around here you won't see it and to compare i have two multimeters here one which is this blue one it's a cheap one and the other one uses the true rms and you can see it's written here sorry trms and you can see, and you will see why it's very important and please note that our measures that we can see over here are not 100 percent perfect and they need some uh, other calibrations and you can see it in the code and don't forget i'm using an oled 
to show our measures you can see my previous tutorials on how to use an OLED screen and that's it but first I'm gonna compare two multimeters and how to measure like the signal from the light dimmer so first let's compare our two multimeters I have one the cheap one here and one that used to RMS is here and I'm gonna measure the voltage in the inputs of my modules so I'm gonna place my probes here and gonna turn the dimmer on I hope you can see it so first it's around 220 volt let's measure with the other multimeter around 223 volt now let's turn our light dimmer like off over here and let's measure now as you can see it's 74 73 and here when using true RMS it's 105 volt there are maybe like 30 volt of difference which is very big and you should consider it so when calibrating your module try using a good instrument I'm gonna measure this to 149 and here 113 112 which is not good at all now we're gonna see our code and then come back later to compare the different measures around uh, here. So here I have my code. The important library is, is uh, filters.h. You're gonna find in the link right below where to download and wire in all the things you know. And this is library as for the only display as I'm using one. So this all things are for the display. Here we have like the frequency of our uh, signal. I have 50 Hz, you may have 60. And here this windows linked and uh, all the things like this frequency are for the sampling. So here you add or uh, so increase your samples or uh, decrease them. And here is where you want to do like your uh, calibration, but just uh, be careful. Those values are uh, very sensitive. If you change too much or uh, not good you'll end up with the uh, weird values but this values worked for me which was uh, good and here like where we store our uh, volt signal here it was in amps sorry it's volts and here like it's our period we have like uh, 100 uh, sorry 1000 millisecond which is one second every one second we do like the sampling and all the things calculations so all the things here are for the display here I'm adding like the serial to see the serial monitor and here these functions are related to the library and they do like all the work or they do all the work for you because as you can see it's very difficult to like to calculate the RMS but this uh, uh, functions and this uh, libraries do it for you to make it very simple and here we do like every second we measure so here is where you can uh, uh, calibrate again so here I add this uh, a multiplication by this value is to make like the values more uh, accurate as you can see you can modify from here or from there it depends for you it's very tricky to find the right or the very precise uh, numbers and here is all what I think they are all related to the uh, measures or sorry to the display so here we can see it in the serial you can stop here serial print and you see your voltage but here I'm uh, because I'm having only display so I'm doing uh, these uh, things too so around the internet you're gonna find some like codes like this this code works only for the a perfect sine wave signal if you're using a light dimmer or if your uh, signal is uh, 
triangular or square signal it won't work at all because here it what it does it just measure from the voltage from peak to peak and then it does some calculation to make it like an uh, appear like a, an RMS signal uh, sorry RMS value but it's not a true RMS value it works only as I said with the perfect sine wave signal but here today I'm using a light dimmer and they're based on triax so no per no linear uh, signal but the other code is works with all no problem and you will always be right just have the perfect uh, calibration so that's the multimeter I've chosen to work with because you have seen the reason and I'm going to show you later the difference again and let's turn on our socket okay now it's turned on let's turn our light dimmer not that I'm not measuring with the multimeter for the moment so here it's at full maximum uh, voltage I think 227 volt let's measure with the multimeter okay pretty much the same now there's a difference okay now it's good 223 there is a 3 volt difference as i said there is a calibration to do in the code and it's very tricky you should take your time when uh, doing it let's turn our light dimmer a little bit pretty much the same values you have to find your right calibration i didn't give it uh, enough uh, time but it's still a thing because the codes you will find around the internet are not good for your measuring if the signal is not a perfect sine wave like in this case we have comparing our measures again so first we use chip multimeter one hundred fourteen one hundred fifteen here on our module is marked one hundred fifty six one hundred fifty five let's use our good multimeter one hundred fifty one it's pretty much the same as i said there is other calibration you should consider it because it's uh, very important but it's uh, better than the cheap multimeter and you can take your time to adjust the calibration in a good way let's change as you can see they're pretty much the same i hope you can see it right sorry for the angle they are pretty much the same which is good not like the cheap one which is far behind by 30, 30 volt or 40 volt which is a big difference so that's it for this module I hope you like it don't forget to put a like and subscribe and see you next time